Greetings, this is Dr. Douglas Maurer from iMedical Apps with another medical app review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at an app that is based off of an online article I wrote about a new research study on the app called Brain HQ. Technically, the app itself was not studied in this research article, but the authors of the app utilize one of the sections of the app called this dual decision or double decision section as part of it. This app is part of this whole concept of cognitive training or brain games, if you will. There have been a number of apps out on the market. The various Lumosity apps have by far been the most popular, but as you know from the article in our previous coverage, Lumosity was hit with a large fine by the FTC. Brain HQ comes from Posit Science and their team of physicians and PhDs and other brain scientists have put together this app and have received NIH grant funding to study aspects of it and have some pretty impressive results. The most recent study showed a 33% reduction in the incidence of dementia. So how does this app work? As you can see, you can use some aspects of the app for free or you subscribe. I have a subscription. It allows you to personalize a schedule pick certain courses, go to specific exercises. So, for example, the double decision is this uh, speed attention processing app that received so much attention in the media. There's also brain speed sections to think faster, intelligence sections, memory sections, as well as navigation, people skills. You get the idea. You can you know, work on any of these sections anytime you like, or you can have it set up a schedule. You can see the app's pretty easy to navigate. I'm not sure why I've got multiple plus signs. They both go to the same section, no matter which one I push on. This little menu at the top I thought would have more options, but it really just takes you to this page here, and which jumps into landscape view, as you can see. Uh, on the bottom here, it can show you some of the areas that you've been working on. I just got this yesterday after reading the article and writing the section for iMedical Apps. You can see the levels that I've been going through here for the first two days. So let's try out one or two sections here. So again, if I want to just work on any particular exercise, I can click on, say, this double decision. What's nice is it tells you the benefits of it, the science behind it shows you the folks who actually came up with the game itself, describes in detail how it works, including even some evidence of supporting it. Hit play, pick the stage you want, and tap to begin. I'll turn it here into landscape view. Looks like that's going to work. Hit start. And you can see I have to choose which car and where I saw the Route 66 sign. And the game gets faster as time goes by. And if you make a mistake, it'll let you know. Otherwise, it just keeps going, getting faster and faster. And this was, again, one of the games that was utilized in the study that showed this reduced incidence of dementia. The average age of that patient population, by the way, was in their 70s, so I can't by any means guarantee that this data applies to us who are much younger, but we do know that folks who have cognitive enriching lifestyles and jobs and or work puzzles and whatnot seem to have lower rates of dementia. You can see how much faster it's getting now. You're much more likely to make a mistake as it gets lightning quick. I think I just, well, maybe I didn't make one, but I chose the wrong car. Doing pretty good here for live TV. I guess that's good, right? But you get the idea. I don't want to keep going and bore you with that game. But the idea is also once you set up your personalized trainer, it wants you to 
practice for many hours a week. So you can jump back in, hit start, it'll take you to the next game that it wants you to play. It does a pretty nice job of explaining directions. I think at times some of the writing at the top to me looks a little less professional and even some sections it gets cut off. So some things I liked about the game, I like the fact that it's based on RCT evidence of efficacy and not just because somebody said that looks like a cool game. The content is updated frequently and uh, allows for accepted the quality of the graphics uh, could be better. Uh, it's currently not available for Android, but you can play it on the Android browser. And as you saw, the navigation of the app at times could stand to be a little bit better. So that's my look here at Brain HQ. Good luck training your brain. This is Dr. Douglas Maurer from iMedical Apps. Take care.